Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Hurricane. Today I wanted to give you guys an update on where my upcoming Jacksonville Jaguars Connected Franchise series is. I made a video shortly after Madden 16 was released and I announced I would be using the Jacksonville Jaguars and I wanted to start the series as soon as possible. However, Connected Franchise Mode this year, as most of you probably know, launched with a variety of issues and issues I didn't want to deal with in my first season of franchise. Oh, and before I go any further, this gameplay is a head-to-head -head online game I was playing with the Jacksonville Jaguars, and somehow the footage got messed up in the second half, so I don't have the full game. This is like the first two and a half quarters, but it's still a decent amount of Jaguars gameplay at least. Anyway, back to the issues in connected franchise mode. I was waiting for the patch, and we got that patch last week. And many of the issues were cleaned up, but I'm still seeing some issues when I go into connected franchise mode. The things that were fixed were the drive goals causing players to have 100 confidence and getting insane ratings boosts that would make every player basically the best at their position. Then there was the regression for the offensive lineman, which I'm hearing is still an issue because when you simulate the tackles are giving up too many sacks and that's causing them to regress at a really fast rate even to younger tackles so that could still be an issue there was some disparity in the ratings between the players already in the league and those in the draft class and specifically quarterback deep throw accuracy was adjusted because rookie quarterbacks would often have better accuracy deep than the best players already in the nfl there was an issue with super simming and having quarterbacks run too often, and I saw that a little bit in my Andy McKenzie preseason. There were some issues with free agents, where elite free agents would take very low contracts, and I even read somewhere that some low-rated free agents wouldn't even take ridiculously large contracts. And then there was free agents who would disappear from the free agent pool. That's all from the patch notes from uh, EA Sports and the patch they released last week. Now the issues I'm still seeing in Connected Franchise are the computer cutting players they shouldn't, and specifically rookies. The two that people always talk about seeing in their franchise are Philip Dorsett, who was a first round pick of the Colts, and Tevin Coleman, who was a third round pick of the Falcons. I also saw some lopsided trades with players like Zach Mettenberger being traded for a second round pick. So there seems to be some issues with the trade logic and the cut logic and how the CPU assembles their final roster. Now, I could try waiting for another patch. I haven't really heard much about patch 2. So I'm kind of sitting here wondering if maybe the best route for me to go is to have a 32-team controlled franchise. That's something I haven't done before, but it should be able to fix some of the issues I was seeing. Now, I don't want to control 32 teams, and regardless, I'm only going to play with the Jacksonville Jaguars. But if I had the 32 team control on, which I would like your guys' feedback about this idea, if I had 32 team control on, I could organize the CPU team's depth charts, I could make sure they're not doing any lopsided trades, I could also cut their players in preseason to get down to the best roster and not seeing high-rated rookies cut or any high-picked rookies released. Well, that would fix a couple issues, it may create some other ones, like when the draft approaches. Now, I can simulate draft picks, that's not an issue. I'm not going to draft for any other team than the Jaguars, but you guys don't like to trade in the draft. And I'm not sure if there's a way to have the CPU automatically accept or reject trades without user approval if that's a user-controlled team. So in that case, that could mean there would be, like, no trading whatsoever in the franchise, which is not how I want it, because I like trading up and down the draft, or trading a player on my roster for another pick, or a pick for a player. I want that flexibility, but it seems there could be issues whether I want to go 32 team or just single team. Now, I could try affecting some ratings of players on the roster to try to influence the Colts to not cut Philip Dorsett, and for the Falcons to not cut Tevin Coleman, but at the same time there could be issues in upcoming seasons where a team drafts somebody in the third round and they get cut and I don't notice it. 
So basically right now I'm just trying to figure out the right way to go about these issues. If it's right to wait or if I should try 32 team control to fix some things but potentially have some other issues. I said in that announcement video I wanted to start the Jaguars franchise as soon as possible. But obviously with these issues I've been more patient and I think that's the right approach right now. I don't want to rush my franchise. I want the franchise to be as authentic as I can make it. And I'm willing to wait if it means the franchise is going to be better because of it. I look back at my Madden 25 and Madden 15 franchises to see when they kicked off. And they actually kicked off on the same day just a year apart. And that's September 29th, which is a little over two weeks from today. So I've been patient in the past, and that was mostly to get sliders correct. I'm not as concerned about sliders in Madden 16. Although I am still experimenting and trying to get the perfect set to launch my franchise with. But looking back at my previous two franchises, they started at the same time, late September. I'm hoping I can have the Jaguars franchise started by late September again. I can't really give a definitive time on when I think the franchise will kick off, but I can update you guys when I think it's going to be. And I'm testing sliders, I'm trying to figure out just how to balance out some of these issues and get this franchise going. And this also applies to my Andy McKenzie series. I started that one with the preseason, didn't know about a lot of the issues, found out about them and knew I had to wait and probably restart that one and go to the regular season so the draft class isn't how it was before the patch. If I can get the CPU to not cut players they shouldn't or make trades they shouldn't, then we should be good to go very soon. The tackle regression is another issue and I'll have to look more into that one and see how common and how bad it really is. But I want to start the series soon, I just, I can't rush it. I don't want the series to suffer because I'm in a hurry. I'm not in a hurry, I'm trying to get the Panthers franchise more progress and I'll have another episode on that one out tomorrow and another later this week. And I could try and wait to start my Jaguars franchise until after the Panthers franchise is over. And hopefully we would have the second patch by then. But I'm just not sure the right approach right now. I want to get you guys the series, but I want it to be great. So I would like your guys' feedback in the comment section if you have found workarounds for any of these issues. If you know more than me about 32 team control and what are the positives and negatives of that. I just wanted to get you guys this video so you can know that I'm wanting to get this series going, but there are still issues, and I'm also still posting the Panthers franchise, so I don't feel like I have to be in a hurry right now, and also I started my last two franchises later in September, and this could be another uh, late September start. So until I can get this series underway, I'll be reading as much as I can about these issues, testing different things in franchise mode, getting the slider set finalized, and obviously working still on the Panthers franchise. And that interception by Telvin Smith was awesome. He is one of the players I'm really excited to have on the team once I get this franchise started. But back to what I was saying earlier, if we get any news on a second patch, then that'll definitely dictate what my approach is going to be. But until then, I'm going to be trying to fix these issues if I can and find workarounds. And if you guys have any feedback, I would love to hear it down in the comment section below. And thank you guys for being patient as well. We all want to have a great series, and if it means waiting a little while to get the series going, there's still going to be a lot of time to post the series once we are up and running. So, I'm going to continue being patient. Hopefully that pays off and we have a great franchise this year in Madden 16. There's a lot of gameplay fixes this year that have me really excited to actually start playing my franchise and hopefully having some of the most entertaining games I've had in my franchise series. And this is where the gameplay, by the way, got screwed up. There was another, like, 16 minutes of footage and somehow it got condensed into, like, 26 seconds. And I'm not sure at all what happened. We skipped from the third quarter to, like, midway through the fourth. Luckily, I still had enough gameplay earlier, and I had that sweet interception with Telvin Smith. So, there was some Jaguars gameplay. I want to get you guys the real thing soon in the franchise. And thank you for continuing to be patient. I just wanted to make this video to give everybody an update. There are many who don't follow me on Twitter, or don't see my tweets, or don't see my comments on my videos. I get tweets every day about where the Jaguars franchise is. 
I know you guys want to see it. I want to play it and post it. But for now, I'm remaining patient. And I will keep you guys updated on the status of the upcoming Jaguars franchise. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Please leave your feedback down below in the comment section. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.